I was here on a sh with a show called Defiance for a couple of years. Oh, okay. Yeah. I played another painted alien on that show, so easy to confuse. That was white skin, blue hair. This is blue skin, white hair. So you would you like to see a relationship between Supergirl and your character? Since in the comics they, they had, you know, some lengths, I guess. Personally? Yeah. Me? Um, I think that... I, I personally don't think that Supergirl is like really needs another like love interest right now. I think I think it's it's she doesn't it's, she's Supergirl. She doesn't need like a boyfriend or whatever. And I think that Brainiac Five doesn't exist solely to be a romantic love interest for Supergirl. Or he also doesn't exist to be a replacement for Mon Al or a straight up replacement for Wynn. That's not what what he, he's about. Uh, he's his own character and his own man, and so. It's not really something that we're pushing right off the bat. Um, he's just there, you know, trying to help out in any way he can. I'm also going to explore more of his humanity because he's sort of been very different yeah. sort of fish out of water character. Are we going to get more of that? There's season? definitely more like fish out of water scenes. It's like a learning curve for him being in the past and in a techno technological sense, but also just in like a social sense like trying to work with his co-workers you'll see he I butt heads with a lot of people a lot of people don't really respond well to Rainiac when they meet him at first it's kind of a it can be kind of a dick um, but uh, yeah he like the the overall theme of the character I think is he's too smart for his own good but um, but yeah a theme that we explore He's, he's kind of like a walking spoiler alert in the sense that he's in the past, he knows what's going to happen. So he's kind of like, hey, what are you guys freaking out about? It's all going to work out in the end. But he, what we, he's going to come to learn is that there's a difference between knowing history and experiencing history. And so that's going to be his journey, like realizing, you know, what it feels like to be on this end of, you know, these people with the, ri the rising anti-alien sentiment, which kind of mirrors what's, you know, in a way happening with our country and our world right now. Um, it's definitely, it's definitely going to be a shocking experience for him because in the 31st century, no one really cares about if you're an alien or not. Everyone's an alien, you know? And so it, it's definitely going to be a little jarring for him to see what it's like to experience being discriminated for the way he looks. And uh, yeah, that's going to be like an overall theme of Nice question, guys. What are you most excited about for your character in season four? Um, I would love to see. I mean, look, I have long conversations about Brainiac <laughs> to uh, uh, to Jessica and Robert, and they are so lovely to indulge me. Um, I would love personally to see some Brainiac origin stories. You know, maybe on Kalu, maybe forming the Legion in the 31st century. I don't know. <laughs> But I would also love, love to see, um, you know, there is always, you know, there is that legion ring that's in the Fortress of Solitude. And so on how did, and, on, and on my hand, hand yes. <laughs> this is mine, but if you notice, mine is a black-plated legion ring, and that legion ring in the Fortress of Solitude was a gold-plated legion ring. So, there's something there, I think, me thinks. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Thank you.